so we don't know what her like I don't know what her her uh like actual full blown breed is, but because she has uh some Tibet Tibetan massive in her, I'm just like operating off of that. And uh like I looked up like people were saying she might be Leon Burger puppy. So I looked up some of the some of the puppy uh photos and she does kind of look like a Leon Burger puppy. Look at this. But she absolutely looks dead ass. Uh, like the Tibetan Massive one is a lock. But regardless, these are both very big breeds. And um, the dude said uh, she was a Mastiff mix. Like she was mixed with Tibetan Mastiff. Um, but hold on. So that's a Leon Burger puppy. This is a Tibetan Mastiff puppy, but depending on how many months they're old, how many months old they are. But here, I mean, look. She looks like a dead ringer for that. You know what I mean? I really admire you getting a big dog. They're a ton of work. Do you know how much exercise they will need? Say goodbye to your sleep schedule. <coughs> Don't be too confident about Tibetan Massive Law. Craig's is sketchy as fuck and they're a super rare breed. No, I know. 100%. I don't give a fuck what she is, honestly. Like, just like with fish. I didn't know what breed she was. I didn't know what breed he was when I got him. They told me she uh, he was a Rottweiler. And I was like, sure, whatever. And he was not. He was just like straight up pit bull. And the same goes for, uh, and the same goes for for uh, her. Like I just, I didn't give a fuck. I just wanted like a big dog. Um, dog breeds have been a special interest of mine going on thirty years. She's definitely at least part to bed massive. Yeah, I mean, she does, she does look like, um. Talking about big dogs, have you been around a Kongal Shepherd? Those things are crazy, huge, and full of energy. Love them. What do you mean? Of course I've been around a Kongal. Bro, I'm Turkish. What the fuck? Oh, my God. That's all fuck. Holy shit. Yeah, breed is pointless. She's a purebred cutie. Yeah. Um. She is a purebred. Stay on top of her chewing on stuff. Yeah, I am. She the features clearly have Tibetan massive in them, but we'll be interested to see how she matures. Yeah, aren't Kongals illegal in the U.S.? I don't think so. PFT is a former Mastiff guy. This morning I said goodbye to my best friend and very good boy Leroy. Oh yeah, this is like uh what kind of massive is this? This is like look. It's like a bull mastiff, right? They're so sick. I love mastiffs. Uh anyway, they're great. They're great dogs. They get very big. Uh the thing I love about the thing I love about mastiffs is a, is like breeds, no matter what kind of mastiff. Uh, I spent a lot of my childhood with a Mongolian Massive, very similar to Tibetan. They shed like a lot and they constantly sleep very low energy. Regardless, though, they're extremely loyal and have really strong guardian guarding instincts. Just my experience. Yes, that is what I've seen. So the reason why I didn't want to get like a Bull Massive or anything is because they slobber too much. Whereas uh, uh, she doesn't seem to have that. So... Um, but yeah, the, the, the thing I like about it is that here's what I found out about this breed. Okay. Here's what I found out about this breed thus far, that they are one very agile. They, they are, uh, they can get very fast. They get very big. 
uh, the female of the breed. We're going to look at some videos in a second. But the female uh, Mastiff gets to, uh, I think, like 70 to 120 pounds. Uh, whereas the male gets to 90 to, uh, to 150 pounds. Are you going to lean into her leg in the cold or would you rather her get used to the heat? Well, for me, uh, I, I'm going to do whatever she's, uh, comfortable with. I I'm getting a, a, a like a cold pad how are you gonna keep her cold in the summer first of all it's the summer already i literally always have uh i always keep it insanely cold in here regardless and also on top of that i got uh, i got ac at the wazoo i fucking run the ac even during the winter okay so the temperature is always going to be the same regardless it's la and two um, I, I am going to get like a cool pad for her too. <sighs> but yeah, um, they get really massive. They, uh, this breed gets really fucking massive and I am, uh, excited to see what she grows into. But as far as like the breed goes, like. Yeah, it's a very if it the the reason why I don't one the reason why I don't think she's like actually a full blown Tibetan Mastiff is also because like, well one we don't know what the mom is, but two, um, th this is like they breed these things, you know what I mean? They're like expensive ass fucking breeds. So yeah, my my family keeps uh, pumping in or uh, popping in. Bro, that dog won the lottery. I think she'll be just fine. Yeah, I agree. But regardless, um, here's the average sizes. Minimum uh, 26 inches from the ground up to the top. Minimum 24 inches for the female. Weight goes from 90 to 150 pounds male. 70 to 120 pounds for a female. And the life expectancy is 10 to 12 years. So like as far as big breeds goes, uh, this is a breed that lives uh, for a lot longer than normal uh, big breed dogs do. Let's watch this video and then we'll uh, get a little bit more information on uh, this breed. And then I'll, I'll uh, you know, once I, f once I give you guys all this, all the info, uh, I will, I will give you, uh, you know, we'll, we'll name her. No politics day, correct? No, of course not. It's a fucking Sunday. And, and. My puppy is like sleeping right behind me. No, we're not going to do we're not going to do fucking any politics today, my friend. I'm sorry to break it to you.